I will find my way. I can go the distance. On stage, he's made a name for himself playing characters like Hercules and Kristoff. Off stage, he is making moves and waves. So get ready for some good conversation as I talk Brooklyn and Broadway with Jelani Aladdin. So listen, I asked you to pick a couple of places to bring us to today. Yep. So we're here in Crown Heights. Tell me about our first stop. This is Laku and it's a Haitian cafe and it's right in the heart of Crown Heights. And the reason why I chose this place is because I figured, why don't we go to places that are open now, post pandemic, that people in the community should know about. And this seemed like the perfect place. All right, so let me ask you this, and I think yeah. this is a loaded question, mm -hmm. but how does a kid go from Brownsville to Broadway? You dream and you work really hard to achieve those dreams. And coincidentally, you know, the owner said that this place, La Coup, deals with a lot of self-determination. And I feel like I had a lot of self-determination. It's also so interesting too, when I just think about your journey. I know that when you were on Frozen, you said that you had this moment when it was like, there's something else for me. I don't yeah. wanna do this anymore. But I think that I have that moment almost like every other week in my life. Seriously? I'm like, yeah, I, I, I feel like you can never stop dreaming bigger. And so I'm always like, all right, so if this is accomplished, what's the next thing that I wanna go after? And what's the next challenge for me? Tell me, what block did you grow up in? What was the name of your street? Oh, Dumont Avenue. And can you Dumont tell me Avenue. the name of your production company that you started? Yes, Dumont Millennial Production. And it's based on the fact that uh, in my house, 143 Dumont, uh, people would come after church. They would come randomly on Saturdays and they would sit down with my mom and my grandma. I would listen to their stories and, and be like, whoa, life is so much more than I thought it was. And that's where the inspiration of like, oh, I want to tell stories, I want to write the stories of these people, of these West Indian cultures, of these um, first generation Americans that have passed through my home. So Jelani, what are we looking at over here? All right, we got a, a fried mushroom burger, Looks which insane. is like drizzled in like heaven confectious yumminess. Done. This is a Caesar salad, and this is a special kind of chicken that they make in Haiti. I also love the menu here. A lot of it is plant-based. They do have some meat options, but it's- Vegan friendly. Exactly. Okay, you picked another spot. I believe that we're gonna have dessert there. Oh yeah. Okay, I say we turn the Mid camera off dessert. and we eat some. <laughs> <laughs> like, we actually eat how we want to mm -hmm. eat. Jelani, I have to tell you, I do not want this day to end. I don't either. I love Brooklyn so much. There's yeah. so much here and so beautiful. I mean, look at this perfect day that we've been I giving. Know. I, I think we need a little treat, don't you? Absolutely, yeah. which brings us to our next stop. <laughs> oh my god, my face just <laughs> <laughs> we We're gonna have a Marilyn moment, except with space <laughs> under there. <laughs> First, tell me about this place. The owners are incredible. The tie-in is incredible. This is also a new place for me. My first time being here, it's Island Pops. Um, and they uh, started their business by making pops from parties, like party drinks. And they would like go around and sell those. And now they have a full business here. And I'm sure these are gonna taste so delicious because they're made from love. Uh, we have here soursop, a West Indian fruit. Saro, which is a, a tea leaf that you kind of boil and make into a drink, and we drink that in my house too in the Guyanese culture as well. Cherry blossom, which was made particularly for their love. And mango moscato. Yes, which Come sounds on. delicious. Come I, I want to go back one though to the yeah, cherry blossom because we're blossom. talking about how that was made with love, and I feel yeah. like that is a perfect segue into another one of your projects. Yes. So let's I, talk about uh, RNH Goes Pop. RNH Goes Pop. So basically, RNH Goes Pop was an initiative started back in 2018 at the 75th anniversary of Oklahoma, trying to reintroduce to the world these iconic songs that were really the pillars of, the, of musical theater. I've been so lucky to have been brought on to do one of the songs, the song that I get to sing with one of my friends, Matt Doyle, who's also a Broadway actor, um, is We Kiss in a Shadow, and that's originally King and I, and here we're doing it in a, way, in a new version, a kind of like a R&B kind of soul version of it with two men. What do we do about that? I say we, what do we do devour about that? this. <laughs> devour this, I think we've earned this. That's good, that's good. Y'all did this. Y'all gonna see me here, always. <laughs> If you want to catch up with Jelani Aladdin, just just come to Island Just find Island Pop. I'll be living here. Y'all got a room? It is a freezer, so you know, I lift a lot of ice. <laughs> <laughs> Corny, cut that. Don't use that Christoph, ever. Stop. <laughs> yes. Yes.